Hello everybody, I'm Carl Rides and welcome back to Carl Rides Plays Two Point Hospital. In the last episode, we were in Hogsport and we created our first hospital. Uh, between episodes, I've got that up to a three-star hospital, which you do by curing more patients. And I've got the balance up to one million dollars and the value up to two million. So I think it's time that we moved on to uh, Lower Bullocks, which I think I called Lower Buttocks in the last episode because I apparently can't read and uh, I'm making up my own jokes now, <laughs> so that's always good. Right, let's get into Lower Bullocks and start making our second hospital here in Carl Rides Plays Two Point Hospital. Welcome to Lower Bullocks. It's a lovely little village with a big problem. A sufficient proportion of the population believe themselves to be rock stars. There's only one thing that can cure this. Psychiatry. Only a doctor with psychiatry qualifications will be able to diagnose and treat people in the psychiatric room. We've managed to find one, but you should keep your eyes peeled for job applications and other useful qualifications. So cool. So we need to build a psychiatry room. Get one of those. Let's see. So that is GP's office, I think. We do one about this big. Put the door on this side. Put the nice little chair there, and we'll rotate that that way, so we'll put that in there. What else do we need? Maybe like a filing cabinet? Might be quite good. And a nice bin. Some flowers there to make them feel better. And the fire extinguisher as well, just in case you never know what might happen. <laughs> Should we put a light head in this photo on the wall? Beautiful. Okay, I think that's our room done. We've been contacted by Bungle Technologies, who run various research hospitals across the country. They have been they have an interesting proposition for us. Their psychiatry license was recently revoked due to an incident with, well, it's best not to go into that. They want to send us a psychiatry patients and an exchange will allow us to buy some of their latest technology. Until our organization acquires a research license, we need all the technology we can get our hands on. That sounds pretty cool. Okay, let's build up the hospital a bit while we deal with some of the psychiatric patients from Bungle. So, we need to get our hospital Megan to Clark level 3. sent in a very thorough quote for today's nice words of the day. Remember that you are strong and blessed, that to live is to learn, and that all bad things happen for a reason, while good ones come to those who wait. That's a lot of nice words, Megan. Our doctors have discovered a new illness, Mockstar. Patients believe themselves to be one of the greatest rock stars the world has ever seen, but are slightly gaga. We'll send the patient for treatment to our psychiatry. Okay, so that's that guy there, I think. So he's going over here. What we need to do is add in some benches and stuff right here. So we'll add in a bench there and a bench on this side as well. Here he comes. So he's gonna have a lie down and the doctor's gonna 
and have a little uh, chat with him, get him to express his feelings here in our second hospital here in Carl Rise Plays Two Point Hospital. And he's cured! Awesome! So we've got our first psychiatry patient cured. That's really, really cool. There we go. Awesome. So let's have a look around this hospital. So we've got a reception desk, we've got some waiting area. That's the GP's office, I think. Uh, this is this one's quite good because it's got uh, four different entrances right there. So I'm guessing like you can buy yeah, you can buy these plots and like add in say you could buy maybe this one and like make it into like several wards. Uh, buy this one and you know, adding a load of GPs, officers, and something like that. And a section off the hospital, basically. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, what I want to do is. There's quite a lot of these guys coming in now. Security alert. Please be alert. So they're all in a queue, you can see the numbers above the heads. That's pretty cool. Okay, what I'm going to do is start building some stuff now. Um, so I'm going to leave that GP's office there for the moment. And psychiatry there as well. What I'm going to do is start adding in some other things that we're going to need uh, in this area. So I'm going to add in a pharmacy. And that's going to be uh, needed to get us up to the next level of hospital. We need to add these these things in, um, you know, and start expanding our hospital. Put a plant in there as well. Cool. Oh, uh, do you want to stop editing? No. Do that. Beautiful. Rooms. We need a nurse for that, which we'll get in just a second. Can I have toilets though, just one wide? I doubt it. No, but I can do that, and then I can add on to it in a second. So I'll do that. And that. And a sink. Hand dryer. Been there. Nice. Don't think I fit a planet in, but never mind. Uh, add to that. So I'm going to put a bit in there. Like From the so. Of never blink. I'm going to put the plant Comes in. Pulpitation. There. The energy drink made with the discarded pulps of oranges and just a drop of rocket fuel. Pulpitation. Because sleep is for the weak. More two point. More often. This is two point radio. There we go. As I said in the last episode, when they start talking on the um, on the radio, I'm going to stop uh, so you guys can listen to it. Okay, so we don't have that good nurses, but I do need one to run the pharmacy. So I'm just going to get this person right here. We got some toilets there as well that I just built as well, so that's cool. Okay, so we have some uh, notifications down here. So we need to lazy bones, <laughs> uh, skeletal fatigue caused by a lack of calcium in the diet. Upon, diagno upon diagnosis, the patient should be immediately rushed to a ward where they must sleep for several days whilst they f uh, while being fed milk and cookies by a nurse. The patient is seeking treatment and will need a ward to deliver this treatment. It will cost $7,500 to build. What would you like to do? We need another ward there as well, don't we? Okay. Uh, get patients to wait. Get patients to wait. We'll build a little ward. We're going to build it on this side, to be honest. Right here. Like 
like that. Put a big door in the middle. And there's stairs there. On this side. Changing facilities over Stop here. To feel relaxed. And then we can put some beds in as well. I'll do for now. Bungle Technologies has given us access to some of their latest technology. A pharmacy drug mixer upgrade and a general diagnosis EZ scan machine upgrade. If we buy these for our machines, they will become more powerful, helping us diagnose and cure more patients to upgrade a machine. We'll need a janitor with a mechanics qualification. Uh, select the machine and choose upgrade option. A qualified janitor will upgrade these machines over time. Give it a try and Bungle might teach us some more. Cool, we'll have a look at that in the future. What we need is some more nurses. A nurse. We do need a janitor, so I'm gonna get one of those. Can this person? Yep. Upgrade and ghost capture as well. That's pretty cool. Get those as well. Doctor required a GP's office. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a staff room here, and then maybe one GP's office there as well. Um, so I might build the GP's office first, because I want to get that one out of the middle. I'll do that, and that. Put it that way. Filing cabinet. Cool, that'll do for now. And a staff room. Like so. Add to it there. And put in a door. Armchair. Some lockers. Drinks and snacks. We got enough space in here. Then that'll do. And You're listening to Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. Welcome back to your favourite radio station with the vastly overqualified Sir Nigel Bickleworth. I'm here to inform, to entertain, and to bring some small measure of sophistication to your drab little lives. Should any of you have any requests for popular tunes, as I believe people like to call them, do not hesitate to repress that impulse. I have no intention of playing any of that drivel. So there we go, that is in there as well, there's a GP's office there. Uh, there's a little staff room there as well. Not the best staff room in the world, but it's how it'll do for now. We've got our ward here. Um, so what we really need to do is get ourselves a general diagnosis. Uh, I think would be the best thing to do. I do want to move that GP's office at some point. Uh, but I think I'm going to put general diagnosis over on this side right here. So I'll select that. Beautiful.
I've already got one of those, that's cool. Okay. Oh, we have a letter. So this is about upgrading our machines. So we can click on this and we can press upgrade. And a, a janitor will come around and upgrade the machine. There's the janitor. Start upgrading the machine to a brand uh, new update uh, to make the machine better and perform better and all that good stuff. So that's pretty cool. Upgrade that one as well. I can, so we can upgrade that one as well. It's really cool. So we get all of them working at their best. Right, what can I do with this? Can I sell it? Room value. Sell it for 7,000, yep. Right, that's gone. <laughs> Pick that up. Bob that over here for now. Go to that and that. Move that. I'm just trying to clear some space uh, at the moment. <laughs> Holistics is apparently going to open another of its nature communes for sick people with more sense than money. Fortunately, I have equal amounts of sense and money. Maintenance announcement. Plants need water. There we go. So we put in some more machines there. Uh, we need a news agent. That's going to be good. So we make some... Uh, money off that and for that we need an assistant I believe uh, training customer service customer service Next level two toilets need routine servicing gonna get our friend Archie here to run the uh, run that area for me Put in some more uh, seating. Oh, new technology guide. The machine upgrade is complete. Make sure you've got a few fire extinguishers dotted around to keep the precious machines safe. Uh, the Bungle Technologies is grateful for our continued support with their patients and have given us access to one of their machines and extra plan <laughs> this high-tech gadget is great for removal of unwanted kitchen utensils okay <laughs> look out for people in need of this continue expanding the hospital to unlock more technologies find another plot of land nearby may give us space to develop the hospital so i'm just going to put these in We should be able to fit them without encroaching on the news agent, hopefully. Yeah, we can. Awesome. And put in a another plant there as well. Great. So we've got uh, our waiting area here all stocked up. We're making some sales over at the news agent. And uh, we've got our general diagnosis, we've got our GP, we've got our staff room, toilets, we have our drug machine and our psychology and our ward as well. Let's have a look at this. We can construct new build hospital buildings by purchasing plots of land nearby. Take a look around the hospital grounds, hover over a nearby place to see the size and shape of the plot and the price to buy a plot. Click on it and choose purchase. New building will then be constructed over time. Once the building is complete, we can use this for extra space to expand the hospital. We can also move existing rooms between plots if we want to rearrange things. That's really cool as well. 
Um, how much is that? Seventy-five thousand. Twenty-five. That's fifty. Let's go for this one first. So we'll buy that, which means the kids' play area is going to go. Well, that is uh, the price of progress. Uh, so it's going to take 14 days to uh, build that building, and then it'll link kids, on there. Get off those feet. There you see that happening there? Science we take now stuff bring down. you this segment, Sir Nigel Reviews. Today I take a look at the new fine dining establishment, Les Souffles Tristes. And what a delight for the experienced palate this is. The scrambled emu eggs on pickled toast are particularly good. I give it four salt shakers. So what I'm doing now is putting one of the... Um Deluxe Lux machines in, which is the one where uh, they take the light bulb off the head from last episode. Uh, I'm putting that in so we uh, we have that facility available to patients uh, if they need it. So that's what I'm just doing at the moment. Some more benches, like so, that's cool. Probably move reception so we get another building in there as well. So I'm going to pick reception up. Uh, should I put it that way? Put that there. Yeah, I think that's probably the best place to put it at the moment. Doctors have discovered a new illness. Uh, what do we need for this? Treatment in the ward. We'll send people to the ward. Well, there's a nurse in there, so we can definitely deal with that. That's cool. We've reached one of our uh, objectives here. We've we own two buildings now, uh, so we need to cure three patients in the Pan's lab. Okay. So what I usually do, what I used to do in um, Theme Hospital, was have a separate reception area. Uh, for each of the buildings. So... I can... pop that in there. Can I move that back a bit, maybe? We'll have a look in a sec. And put in some benches here so they can have a sit down. Maintenance announcement. Plants need water. Like so. I can probably move that back. Can I? Let's have a look. How far could I move that back? There. That looks better. Cool. Okay, so... General diagnosis. Rooms. And lab. Radio. Our reporter on the field, Sally Fig Blanket, has just returned with her camera crew from another field trip. As to what she was reporting on, I cannot say. Nobody tells me anything. Okay, so I'm going to put in some fire extinguishers. I'm going to put in a nice plant. I'm going to put in a bin as well. Some of those. Very nice poster on the wall as well. So we've got an extractor pan, which is this machine right here. Doctor to psychiatry, please. What does this need? Requires doctor. Okay. Hire doctor. Does he need? Anything in particular? I don't think he does. I'm gonna get this guy. There you go. And we need a another assistant for our reception area. 
so I'm gonna get this guy. There you go. Cool. Lightheadedness discovered. Uh, well, we, we have our uh, treatment clinic for that anyway, so that's fine. Uh, community Roundup just went live. She says it doesn't say much about the hospital. It said that it exists. It is, it's good for people to know that, I suppose. <laughs> we'll need to improve the hospital once uh, it's had anything positive in the future. So that's like a community uh, newsletter, I guess, that's uh, going around there. So that's cool. On this side, I'm going to put in a drinks machine. I'm going to put in a snack machine. And a salty snacks machine as well. Put in a nice bin there. And um, maybe some uh, leaflets there as well. And a nice plant of course to make the area look nice there we go cool oh oh dear what's going on here there's a q and r for is this for the gp's office yep okay so we need more gp's offices okay There we go. Sally Fig Blanket, Two Point Radio's roving reporter, has been investigating the state of our local hospitals today. I certainly uh -oh. hope she did not waste any time interviewing patients. I mean, what possible value would that have? Okay. <laughs> We need some more doctors. We're getting a lot of patients. Uh, our doctor discovered a new illness, Bogwort. Rather disgusting skin condition caused by filthy toilets that can be cured by an ex expensive cocktail of drugs carefully prepared in the pharmacy. Or with witchcraft. We'll send the patient for treatment in our pharmacy. Okay, that's cool. We are getting a lot of patients, which is cool. But we're not exactly. Uh, we are making money, but not quickly enough, really. So we need. more doctors. So who's who's standing? There are seats there, guys. In pharmacy. End of year approaching. Ooh, so the yearly awards are here. Three, two, one. So we only won one, which was Doctor of the Year this year. Uh, that's pretty good, I suppose. <laughs> we we uh, did win uh, more in the past, did the last Ops Uh Group of war payments are uh, coming in. So cure for payments with Lady Bones. Then we can do that. I think these are the emergency people coming in now to the ward. Maintenance announcement. Plants need water. 
Yeah, here we go. They're coming in now. There's four of them. I don't think we have enough beds. Which is, uh... Terrible worrying. Every day, you could lose a toe. <coughs> your house. <coughs> Even your life. <coughs> That's why you need insurance like Swindles Insurance. <sighs> Swindles, because peace of mind is worth a piece of your soul. This is Two Point Radio. Trying to move this over a little bit so I can put in some more beds in the wall. Like so. There we go, so there's six in there, I think that'll do us. Uh, for that, yeah, cool. Doctor to Pan's lab, please. Ooh. Someone waiting for the Pan's lab, I think. <laughs> He's got a pan on his head. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Where's my doctor? Doctor? Doctor, doctor. Run by doctors, but there aren't any available. Consider hiring more doctors. Okay. Doctor. Let's go for it. Is he going to go in there? get a good view of this happening. <laughs> well, he's cured. <laughs> so we need to cure three patients in the pan's lab is our goal to get to a one-star hospital. So there's, there's two more guys there, so this is going to be the second one here. <laughs> that went a bit rough. <laughs> Need some more nurses as well. We're now at 62,000, we were at 30, so these new uh, buildings that we built are really bringing in the uh, customers, so I'm happy to spend the money on more nurses. It will become full. That's quite fun. <laughs> There we go. Dear hospital administrator, One Star Hospital, congratulations! Your hospital has been awarded a one star rating by the Two Point Health Ministry. Light Lightning, you have made a mockery of your detractors by striking a second time. You are commended on your endeavours into the inner workings of machines and the human mind, respectively. Now, focus on your budding two-headed empire, and add a, or add a third head by opening a new hospital in Flottering, as it's currently not much of an empire. So, we've unlocked a new area but we've also unlocked cardiology and a, a deluxe looks too uh, so again just like the last episode i'm gonna decide between episodes whether i want to carry on with this uh, with this hospital or open a brand new hospital so thank you very much guys for watching the second episode of carl rides plays two point hospital like the video if you liked it subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye, everybody.